the top five sneaker YouTubers that you should be watching. So this is my top five people who I watch on the regular. Uh, keep in mind, there's no right or wrong on this list. If you watch someone and like someone that I didn't mention, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Maybe I will check out their channel. But for now, these are the top five sneaker YouTubers that I personally watch. Honorable mention goes out to Sneaker Invest. He gives you sneaker investing advice. The dude does very well for himself. You'll get some good tips on which shoes to buy. He actually buys most of his shoes for resale and then resells them and makes a ton of money. He probably makes more money than your favorite sneaker YouTuber. Check out his channel, Sneaker Invest. Also, honorable mention goes out to Danny Moore. Danny Moore puts in a lot of work, releases a lot of videos. Um, he's trying really hard, and I mean that in the best way. The dude really wants to be the next Mr. Beast, but with sneaker content. Check out Danny Moore, Mr. Do Not Sell Air Jordan 1. Ones that are gonna continue to skyrocket in price here in 2022 last honorable mention before i get into my top five trash aladdin if you have not checked out trash aladdin's content he basically does sneaker meetups and he catches a lot of people trying to sell him fake shoes the thing about trash aladdin is he is a master negotiator if you ever do a sneaker meetup and trash aladdin shows up uh, run for the hills. Get out of there. Trash Aladdin is going to lowball the hell out of you. He's going to make it hard for you to get any money out of your shoes. The dude is a master negotiator. If you haven't checked out his channel, check him out. So 110, 100? 90, 110. 90, one, nah, chill. We already agreed on one. One, 110, bro. That's fair, bro. 10 of them. 255 if you win 255 come on bro bro i'm losing i don't even want to say wow i'm losing all right if i, do, <laughs> if I win the coin flip we'll do the coin flip 245 yeah, you know how much you told me all right if yeah. i win the paper scissors rock right. 245 right. right. for sure what is it right rock paper scissors shoot oh, shit. Hold on. yeah rock paper scissors i can do a one hand you want to talk about oh shit rock paper scissors shoot Yes, sir. Two, two So it's your question. And that leaves me to the number five sneaker YouTube channel that I watch. It is Sneak City. Sneak City is a sneaker store in Seattle. It's ran by two females. Uh, their content is a lot of people coming in and uh, cashing out with them. Um, that's not the content I'm most into, once in a while they will travel and do buyouts and go to other cities and once in a while they might post like a sneaker convention. That's what I like more than the uh, cash outs, which are kind of boring to me. Um, I do like to see what they're paying for shoes. I immediately will go on Goat or StockX and try and see if you would make more money selling through them or to a store. Say nine times out of ten, you'd make more money actually selling through Goat or StockX. Anyways, that is an entirely different video, but go ahead and check out Sneak City YouTube channel. Number four on my list is Jumperman Chris. Jumperman Chris might be the hardest working sneaker YouTuber in the world. This guy seems like he puts out a video every single day. He's doing sneaker conventions. He's doing unboxing. He's giving advice on which shoes he thinks are going to go up or go down. The dude has content all over the place, every category. The dude puts out tons of content, and I know he's married and has kids, so it's got to be hard for him to be doing all this, but he's doing it. And uh, shout out to him, man, putting in the work. Jumper Man Chris, my number four sneaker YouTuber. 
my number three sneaker YouTuber, Kais. I know some of you might be like, oh man, screw this guy. And uh, that was my attitude when I first found out about him. But after years and years of knowing who he was, I just knew he was some dude in the sneaker community. Didn't really know what he did, but I finally checked out his channel. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. Uh, I've been watching his videos lately. I'm very new to him and to some of these channels, but uh, his channel's not bad, man. You can check it out. Most of you probably have or know who he is. Number two, private selection. Private selection consists of three store owners. You have the Master Chef Ian, you have Scotty, and you have Full Fit Larry. Now, what confuses me is I believe their retail store in Dallas is called Private Selection, but they have PCH, um, I think is their clothing line. I'm not sure. Maybe someone could leave a comment and tell me what's going on with that. And it's also called PCH Los Angeles, which PCH is the road in California that goes along the coast next to the beach. Um, and these guys have a store in Dallas, so I'm kind of confused on why they have a clothing line called PCH Los Angeles. But moving on to their content, um, they do early birds, as they call it, where they get shoes months before the shoes are released. Um, they kind of go through the shoe. These dudes know a lot about sneakers. It's really nice to see that there's actually sneaker store owners who actually respect the shoes. They know a lot about the shoes. There's a lot of people who have sneaker stores who are making a lot of money and they really don't know that much about shoes. So these guys, Private Selection, really know a lot about shoes. And not only shoes, they know a lot about clothes. Their store sells a lot of different clothes. Um, just by watching their channel, I've learned a lot about newer brands. I really don't know a lot about the new brands. I am just know a lot about the uh, old school streetwear brands. So um, you will learn a lot about clothing brands. So they have the unboxings. They have celebrities come through and cash out. And then my favorite part of their channel, I think what they really excel at is they do these travel vlogs, which are amazing. Um, the first one I saw, I think, was New York. Uh, it was over an hour long, and I was thinking, I'm not going to watch this for an over an hour. And I watched the whole thing. It was dope. They visit all the cool stores. They went to Los Angeles and did the same thing. Um, they went to Complex Con, and, you know, I wouldn't want to buy a plane ticket, get a hotel, get a ticket for Complex Con, and then go and hang out with tons of hype beasts. Uh, just not my thing. These dudes broke down Complex Con. It made me feel like I kind of went, you know. I really got a good feel of what it was like to go to Complex Con because of their vlog. So that was really cool. That's the content I really like that they put out. Uh, I got one gripe. Scotty, your shorts, man. I know that 80s John Stockton look is back. But man, those shorts, bro. Uh, Ian seems like a super cool dude. He, you know, dresses kind of how I would dress, lets his sneakers do the talking. And then you have Full Fit Larry. I've had to hear him explain this multiple times, but they call him Full Fit Larry because he's going to wear one brand from head to toe. He takes a lot of pride in that. So these dudes seem like really cool dudes. They are my number two choice. And my number one choice is the common hype. These dudes have really blown up in the last, I'd say, six months. Their channel's getting huge. They just seem like really good dudes. It's two brothers who own the store. They have other people who work for them who are constantly in and out of the vlogs. Uh, some of their vlogs are unboxings. Uh, a lot of their vlogs lately, they have been going to sneaker events. And they just seem like... They're honest dudes. These dudes are very transparent with what they do. 
they have a Discord that you could join and you could sell them shoes. They have a cook group you can join. They have their own store, which is in Arizona. They have some recurring characters on their channel, like Johnson. Then they have their employees that are on the channel. A very entertaining channel. I look forward to watching their videos, and they usually put out two to three videos a week. So that is my number one sneaker YouTube channel that I've been watching lately. Uh, once again, this is just who I've been watching lately, my top five. It's no right or wrong answer here. This is just who I've been watching personally. You might watch other channels, and that's fine. You can leave them in the comments, and I will check them out. This has been your boy, The Truth, a.k.a. Paul Pierce, a.k.a. George Washington, because I can't I tell a lie. And I'm out.